hi, Daisy. I found some new stuff if you want to have a look around. Oh my god, as if you've got cassettes. They're so interesting, all these memories in just one little tape. Yeah, I found all this in the attic, so there should be something good on there. <laughs> I used to have this toy when I was little. It's yours if you want it. How much for all three of these? Uh, let's just call it a fiver. That's great, I'll take them. I'll back that up for you. There you go, thank you. Hello Roger, it's Elaine. Just letting you know that I'm back in town, for good this time. Hello Mr Gibson, this is Michael from Blockbuster Video. I'm just calling to let you know that you've got a couple of movies that are currently overdue. If you'd be able to give us a call back or drop them in sometime today, that would be great. Thanks, bye. Look, Roger, I get it, okay? I hurt you, I know. But I was hoping you'd be mature enough to hear an apology, or even forgive me, but I suppose that would be asking too much. We've both moved on, for Christ's sake. I was just hoping to extend a hand of friendship when I heard about the divorce, as someone that's gone through the same thing. You need to let people help you, Roger, or at least stop being a goddamn child when it comes to your emotions. Goodbye. Roger, this is Judy Vale calling from Macmillan. We were just checking how you are as Emma couldn't get in today. Please call us back when you get this. Thanks so much. Bye. Hi, it's Elaine. I just called because, I don't know, I'd hoped you'd pick up. I know you wouldn't, obviously. I'm not crazy. It's just that all I have left of you is your number in my little book. No photos or letters. I went to your sister today. She told me. I didn't even know you were sick. I wanted to say sorry for all the messages. Even though I left them after you died, it just felt... I wanted to tell you, Roger. I never stopped loving you. I'm sorry I left. That's all. Bye. Roger Gibson, born 1969, passed away 1996, aged 27. I remember you on our street. You were always so quiet. But everything's all wrong. You never heard her words. You never knew that she still loved you. She always loved you. She was just upset. Maybe you can hear her words through these tapes, the last things she wanted you to hear. Rest in peace, Roger. You're not alone. <laughs> 